Hi, how are you today? I hope you are well. There is going to be a lot of extraneous noise, so I'm going to be doing this video mostly without talking because jackhammer directly underneath me <laughs> or or sort of directly underneath me. Anyway, I dyed my hair blue and I need to put some makeup on and I have absolutely no idea what makeup goes with blue hair. So, let's get started, shall we? Get myself not looking like I'm in my jammies. I'm doing that uh, mullet thing right now, that mullet where we're all business on top and jammies on the bottom. I need to make my face, I think, I think we've gotta get rid of all of this red. So let's calm this down. For our foundation, I'm going to use my Chanel Perfection Lumiere. I'm going to apply that with my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. Going to go with my Joe Blasco Orange Highlight 1 underneath my eyes. Blending that with the same Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. RCMA No Color Powder, using a puff to apply. I'm just gonna line my lips with a semi sort of nude liner. This is called Skinny Dipping, it's by Joja. I wanna have some definition. I don't really know what color I want yet, so I just wanna give it a little definition so I don't feel like a dead person when I'm looking in the mirror. It's actually a little bit lighter than my natural lip color, so I don't know if that's helping me any. Uh, let's get some contour on. I'm using my Sigma blush palette that was sent to me for free. This is available on QVC. It's uh, usually like $74, and I think it's for $48 on QVC, and also comes with the brush. Yes! <laughs> I love having all of these different shades to play with. So I'm gonna go with a little sunshine right here. We're having, can you see out the window? I don't know how much you can see. We're having weird weather in LA right now. Oh, sorry, I'm on a super squeaky chair. We are having weird weather. It's rainy and then sunny and then rainy and then sunny and rainy and sunny. Sunshine. There we go. Now it looks like I haven't been cooped up inside for a week. Let's add a little pink to the cheeks. I'm gonna do a little both of those. Let's add a little bit of contour. Very, very little. Go with some of this. Using a different brush because I just try to keep that one with the light tones. Don't know what I want to do with the eye makeup yet really not used to having blue hair. I feel like it clashes a little bit with my eyes. My Color Science Brow Kit, I'm going with this dark tone right here.
So I'm gonna be a big chicken, and I'm gonna start out using the most basic color possible. This sort of peachy tone right here in the Color Science palette. I always kind of like that as my base eyeshadow color because I feel like it makes my eyes look more awake. Is it just me or does that just seem to open it up a little? Of course, I just put it on my eye that's always a little smaller and more closed than this eye. I never do blue eyeshadow. Never do blue eyeshadow. I really honestly hate blue eyeshadow on me. I don't think blue eyeshadow is the best on blue or green eyes because it just tends to overpower them. That's what is my experience. I love blue eyeshadow on brown eyes. If you've got brown eyes, please rock the blue eyeshadow. It looks awesome on you. Me, not so much. What do we think? It's the only blue eyeshadows I have. Shall we play? Should we do some blue? You can see it's brand new. It's, it's never been used. This is my Tarte Rainbow Palette. Let's just do it. Let's just go in. Let's just do it, okay? Let's just do it. I don't know what that voice is. No, I'm waiting. I will do some of the blue, just not yet. Let me do on my domed utility brush using my Color Science palette, this tone along the crease. Stop being a chicken, Monique. Do it, it's just makeup. If you don't like it, it washes off. I'm doing it, I'm going in. Sparkly, medium, blue shade. I'm gonna go in on the lid and up in the crease and let's just, we know it's not gonna be good, but what the heck, right? It's greener than I would have imagined, and I'm sure gonna have to do a lot of cleanup under the eye. Cross that bridge when we come to it. It's actually a very pretty color. I don't think it is for me, but I think it would be for a lot of other people. Here's my domed utility brush. I'm gonna go in and try some of this bluer around the edges and around sort of like the outer area. The, I don't know what I'm doing. Once I do a whole bunch of cleanup underneath, and that might be okay. Probably looks like two different things. I honestly can't see it very well. I've got a lot of light on this side, not much on this side. And see if I can clean that out. Oh wow, look at all I got under there. There's a massive cleanup. I'll be right back. Tools for cleanup later. Might as well just keep making a mess. Let's see, those are completely different, aren't they? Do feel a little bit like I'm doing 80s inspired makeup. Let's do some more of that uh, shimmer. I kind of am liking it. That blue green sort of shimmer. Take it up a little higher. It's all over the place. Okay, I think we've got enough of that on. I think it's kind of fun, and I'm gonna stop there and, and 
let's clean up under the eyes. And then I've got an, a Palladio pencil that I bought yesterday when I was at the beauty supply and it's called Aqua Force. So we'll do some of that under the eyes, around the eyes, and we'll get some liner on, we'll get some lashes, and Howard should be home any minute, and he's in for a surprise. Okay, cleanup crew. I'm using Dragon's, Bo uh, Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water from Rodeal. Uh, it's just a wonderful micellar water. Let's do a little clean up. Clean up under there. Clean up under here. It's like when I eat ribs, I got it everywhere. Okay, let's paint a little sleep on. Joe Blasco, orange highlight one. Well, that sure helped a lot, didn't it? Let's get a little powder on that. Okay, now let's line the eyes with Palladio Aqua Force. I feel like I'm totally doing 80s makeup, but I kind of don't mind that. I'm gonna take a little of that shimmery and add it over that liner just to tie them together a little bit more. Let's do a little tight lining because you know I'm addicted to tight lining. I think I need some separation from, with my eye color and that turquoisey color. So I am going to line the inside of my eye with the black as well. Do a full tight line along the waterline. Let's see with the hair. Yeah, it's not my best look, but what the heck. I'm thinking we're keeping the lips neutral. I'm gonna slap on a lip sense. Man, that seems really bright. That seems really dark. We have bemoaned my uh, packing up of lip sticks. And if you haven't tuned in for us, you know that I just moved and nothing is arranged and everything's in boxes and there's chaos in my life. I don't know where my lipstick is. All I've got is like basically the same shade over and over and over again. Too pink. Even tinker. Too dark. I don't think so. Ah! There's my praline rose. I put it in the wrong drawer. Yay! Okay. Let's get some pralines from <laughs> I'm scattered. You know, I'm sitting here doing my makeup in the living room on the we have a Ms. Pac-Man, which is still wrapped up from the move. It hasn't even been unwrapped yet. It's just covered in plastic and that's what I'm doing my makeup on right now. Lip Sense in Praline Rose. Giving my lashes a little curl. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Afterglow in Sin. I feel like I need a little highlighter going on. Okay, mascara. Uh, the only mascara that I have is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I got some new eyelashes to play with 
These are the half strips because I find those so much easier to put on. These are by Ardell and it's number 318. And I liked these because of their sort of sparseness. There's not a lot to them. I also thought, because I usually almost always use the dark tone lash adhesive, this is their quick set strip lash adhesive. It's new, sets in seconds, it says. So usually I am holding for a long time to let it dry, but this says it's gonna dry in seconds. Cause you know I need my mirror close when I'm doing the lashes and I hope you can see. Not loving this so far. Let's try this a second time. Okay, I don't love the applicator, but it could just be a matter of getting used to it. I usually use these, so maybe that'll make it easier. And I know my arm's probably gonna cover this, I'm sorry. I'm not impressed with these lashes, I gotta say. Don't love this shape. I mean, I like the, the, one, the half ones, but this particular one, it's almost a little too sparse in my opinion, but I'm doing it anyway. Let's keep going. Let's top that with a little bit of eyeliner just to sort of blend that in a little bit. Don't love it. I'm gonna use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I can't see that corner at all. I can see that corner, but I can't see that corner, so this liner is just awful for me. And I can see it's terrible. That's okay. And there we go. Makeup for blue hair. That I don't necessarily know goes with the blue hair, but I've never had blue hair before. It's my first time, and I don't think the makeup quite goes with it, but what the heck? It all washes off. So if you're sitting at home, you're not doing anything, break out your makeup and just put some on and try something new, even if it's bad, you're not leaving the house anyway, so why not? I love you bunches, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will talk to you very soon with perhaps lighter blue hair, or will it all wash out? I don't know, we'll find out.